What's up guys, it's Mr. Alex from BGC Metal Book. Uh, today we're going to go over more dribbling drills uh, to follow up last week's dribbling drills. But first we're going to start with some stretches. So um, I'll do some simple stretches for 5 seconds, which you should probably do it from 10. So let's start. Alright, down the middle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Spread the legs, down the middle again. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, to the left. One, two, three, four, five, to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Pull up a leg. One, two, three, four, five. Next leg. One, two, three, four, five. Arms. One, two, three, four. Five. Other arm. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so following last week's lesson, um, if you guys remember, we were learning how to dribble with both hands. Left and right. So this time, we're going to learn how to dribble with both balls in order to improve both hands. So what we're going to do is we're going to take turns of a two-minute drill each of learning how to dribble these balls together. So what you're going to want to do is squat a little bit, right? Look forward. And the goal is to bounce both of these balls simultaneously, which means at the same time. So it should look a little bit like this. Now, I looked down for a second, but just to uh, make sure I was doing it, everything okay. But you should not look down at all. Now, that's gonna be the first drill of this lesson, and each student should do it for about two minutes. Now, the next drill of this lesson would be to do these, to bounce these balls together, not simultaneously, which means at, at a different pace. It'll look something like this. Squat down, keep your eyes up, uh, looking forward, and you wanna, oh, at different paces, okay? I'm a little rusty at it, but this is the goal. So now, each student should do this for about two minutes, three times each. All right, now that you feel that the kids have mastered those two steps, the next step is to be able to dribble the ball simultaneously and non-simultaneously while walking. It's gonna look a little bit like this. First, we're gonna do simultaneously again. They're gonna start from the end of the court, and they're gonna go all the way to the other side of the court and back. But for time purposes, I'm only gonna go to half court, just so you see what's going on. So, we're gonna have ball simultaneously. Goal is not to look down. Go all the way up. Come back. There you go. Next, as, as you can guess it, we're gonna do it non simultaneously. Do it at a different pace. So, I think this one's a little bit more easy. So, we're gonna walk. Up like this, see how the balls are moving at a different pace, and then back. There you go. Okay, so now that you feel that your students have mastered that, they should be able to go there and back three times. The drill re requires each student to do it three times. Once you feel that they're comfortable with walking, get them to jogging, and then get them to running. And then maybe you can have a race if you feel that your students or at the skill where they can handle that type of thing. Um, explain to the students that it's very important to learn with both hands. That way you can get from the defenders very easy. Thank you.